How to install WSL, WSL2 on Windows 10, using PowerShell command lines. Check system requirements and your Windows version. To do so, open Run and type, WinVer. Now you can see your Windows version. Enable Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL. Open Control Panel, go to Programs and in the Programs and Features section, open Turn Windows Features on or off. Scroll down and locate Windows Subsystem for Linux in the list. You can enable this feature both from this section and by using PowerShell commands. We prefer using PowerShell for this task. Now run Windows PowerShell as an administrator, and type the following command to enable WSL. Now, go back to the Turn Windows Features On or Off window, and check Windows Subsystem for Linux in the list. It should be selected. Enable Virtual Machine Platform. Run the following command to enable the Virtual Machine Platform feature. Now restart your computer. Download and install the WSL2 Linux kernel update package. You can find the link in the caption. Follow the on-screen instructions. Set WSL2 as the default version. In PowerShell, run the following command to set WSL2 as the default version. Use the following command to update WSL kernel. Install a Linux distribution. Use this command line to see and search for the Linux distribution you want to install, for example, Ubuntu, Debian, etc. Select your preferred distribution, in this example, we will continue with Ubuntu. Use the following command line to initiate the installation process. Wait for the installation to complete. Complete the initial setup by providing a username and password for your Linux environment. Now you can check the details on the distribution you've installed.
To launch your Linux distribution, either open it from the start menu or run its executable in PowerShell.